Hey, what's up folks, welcome back, GK here. So if you haven't watched my service account video, I highly recommend watching that video before watching this video. So in my previous videos, whenever I have used service accounts, I have downloaded the keys. So basically when I was trying to connect to the Google Cloud resources from my desktop, so I used to create the service account. So I downloaded the keys and I used the keys in my Terraform, Packer and other tutorials. So in this video, I'm going to show you a better way of handling service account without downloading the keys. So the disadvantage of downloading the keys is in general, not only with me, but in any company when you join or uh, when you become a, a security expert or cloud governance expert in that company. So tell them that, you know, it's not a good idea to download the keys because the keys are floating around in the mails and any person can access that key and get into your project and manipulate your resources, which is a big security risk. So we're going to use a concept called service account impersonation. We're going to give only minimum permissions to the user, but we'll give the actual resource permissions or uh, or which resources you would like to access. Those permissions to, would be given to the service account and the user would be impersonating that service account and performing the actions uh, in that project. And uh, this is the way you would ideally improve the security and without downloading the key. Uh, it's basically a short lived access token that you're going to use. So this you can use not only from the Google Cloud command prompt, but also you can use in a Terraform or any other uh, Ansible or any way where whenever you're using the service account. But as you all know, the most important thing to remember is you would never have to use a service account key whenever you are trying to access the resources within the Google Cloud. So this will apply only scenario, uh, this will apply in the scenarios where you are trying to use service account keys from outside of your Google Cloud infrastructure. So at a very high level, the way it's going to work is we have a cloud user, like you know, you create users in the Google Cloud. Like my, myself, I'm the owner of the project, uh, which I'm going to use in this uh, demo. Now that user is going to have only specific permission, which I'm going to show in the demo. So that permission is to download the tokens and the user will be also added to the service account. So that way, the user will impersonate the service account and perform the actions. And the service account will actually have the permissions to uh, you know, perform actions such as containers using Kubernetes containers. Or in my tutorial, I'm gonna show you a simple, tutor, simple use case of uh, Google Cloud Storage. So the benefit of doing this is we're going to limit user permissions. So we're not giving any permissions to the user besides just getting the token. We're not even allowing user to download the service account keys. So that's a good advantage of this. And like I've discussed, we are reducing the risk of service account keys. So the service account keys are not floating around in your emails. And whenever we want to control the user permissions or you know we want to remove the user, uh, we just can remove the user from the service account resource. So this is the introduction and these are the benefits of impersonation. Now let's go to the demo and I'm gonna show you easy steps of uh, doing this in your uh, practice project or in your organization. All right, folks, so first things first, what we have to do is we have to create the service account and you must have uh, the clarity of what permissions you would like to give to your service account in your company. So you can segregate service accounts based on the permissions uh, that service account would have on specific resource. Uh, for, for example, in my demo, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a service account and I'm going to make that service account sort of an owner uh, for all my Google Cloud Storage administration uh, stuff. So let's go to service account. You can either search here on the search bar or you can go to the admin section directly. So once you are there, click on create service account and I'm going to call it as storage admin or you can call it as a GCS admin. Click on create. Role. I'm going to give storage admin full GCS resources. Uh, continue. And done. We're going to come back to this later. So now we have a, a service account. So most important thing that you would observe here, unlike my previous service accounts is that uh, I'm not downloading any keys. So if I go here, uh, you can see in my previous video, I generated the key here, right? And I downloaded the key. We, we are not going to do that here. So instead of that, so what we're going to do is 
we're going to select the service account and click on this right side show info panel if you don't see that here so i'm sorry on the top side on the top right hand side click on show info panel and make sure that the user has this permission called service account token creator now in any case when if you do not see that if you do not see that user here go back to your iam and you can see my user already has that permission here right so let's say i do not have that you know if i delete this and i'm i'm the only owner or you know i do not have that permission don't worry about that just go back to your service accounts again and click on the storage admin service account and here click on add a member on the top right hand side enter the user select the token creator and click on save that's it now you see my user is added to the service account resource and this is the most important step now once we are done with this we'll go back to my cloud shell and we will verify this by doing certain operations and i'm going to show you how to use the impersonate service account command here all right so let me copy this service account and the first thing that i would like to do is paste this service account in all the commands that i'm gonna show in this demo okay so if you remember i gave you know service account permission to manage all my google cloud storage uh, stuff so if you have to use the gs util with service account impersonate so the command is minus i and the service account user and obviously ls so if i do that here shift insert you will see that there is a warning that shows this command is using service account impersonate all apis api calls will be executed as a service account and then i got an output here so basically i have one storage bucket in this project which means my my uh, service account impersonation is working now you can do the same operations by using a g cloud command so i have used gs util because that's the utility for google cloud storage but you can use g cloud when you're using g cloud you have to do minus minus impersonate service account and this is the command so let's try this okay i did something wrong here let's look at uh, g cloud projects list service account impersonate Maybe space here perfect so now you can see like i'm getting the list of uh, the project id and project number and i'm able to impersonate again using the g cloud so this is the command for the g cloud and gs util now if you want to create a cluster or you know if you want to do any such kubernetes operations you can just use g cloud and and uh, use the impersonate service account now the second thing is it, it might be a little annoying because you have to keep running that impersonate thing again and again so to avoid that the command is gcloud config set auth impersonate underscore service account if you see this so what this does is it will add the service account that you would like to impersonate and it will add that service account to the config file now if i do this here and if i go back to gcloud config list you will see the impersonate service account set for the shell so now if i do gsutil ls 
you don't have to use minus i because you have added uh, that to the config configuration it will happen automatically and you will get uh, all the commands that are that will be impersonated using the service account now if you want to unset you can also use unset and remove that now the next important thing is you can also generate the token and this is what and this is what ideally i should have done in my pre previous uh, terraform videos so you can use this token and you can pass that to the terraform and terraform can for example create google cloud storage objects or buckets in my case because i'm the admin or maybe if you want to create a compute engine you can give more permissions to the service account so but overall this is how you would improve the overall security of your google cloud by not downloading the key and using the short-lived tokens uh, using service account impersonation i hope this video is helpful to you all and you can practice this uh, at your home but uh, don't worry about from the exam's perspective because th this won't be asked in the exam as it's a sort of a advanced level concept and let me know in the comment section if you have any issues with this and please do click on subscribe if you want to watch more of these uh, tips and tricks and fun tutorials uh, in google cloud thanks for watching take care and bye